Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the company update for Max Silver on Commodity TV. Max Silver's joint venture with Fresnilla received the joint formal Juana Cipio project mine development approval in the second quarter of 2019, and an engineering procurement and construction management contract was finalized to conduct the mine development. The, the, Juan, the joint Juana Cipio project should start in summer this year, the production from the underground mine, with the mineralized material expected to be processed in the Fresnilla plant until the Juana Cipio plant is commissioned. The Juana Cipri plant is expected to commence commissioning in mid-2021 and shall reach 85% of their 4,000 tons per day nameplate capacity in Q4 2021. The detailed engineering is near completion and earth moving and foundation preparation as well advanced for the, con for the construction of the beneficiation plant. Sack and ball mills, flotation cells, all associated vessels, thickeners and ancillary process equipment are now secured on site. The underground development is ongoing at Juana Sipio and now exceeds 26 kilometers of development. The updated estimated pre-operative initial capital is now at $440 million on a 100% basis. If we subtract the already invested development expenditures of approximately $135 million, then the estimates approximately $305 million for the complete remaining initial capital. From those $305 million is max share of 44%, so we talk about a further investment of approximately $134 million for MAC. Minera Juana Cipio held cash of $29 million and other working capital of $13.6 million to further develop the project, and they expect cash flow generated from the processed materials through the Fresnello mill commencing in mid-2020. And now some calculation from my side. If we expect 5 million ounces silver equivalent produced in 2020 with AIC of estimated 7 US dollar per ounce silver equivalent, then this should give the joint venture 35 to 40 million dollar income if we calculate this with a silver price of 14 to 15 US dollar per ounce. The joint venture has led and zinc concentrate offtake agreements with Madmax Pendolis, under which both concentrates will be treated at market terms in Toron in Mexico. This should all help further to finance this year's development, and Max Silver still has $72 million in cash to pay for their share. We think that Mac maybe needs a little bit of additional cash, which can be easily done by an equity raise or even better, a credit finance, as the company has by today no debt. And that is very important. Important is that the production really starts this year, which is very likely. The research house HC Wainwright just confirmed their buy rating for Max Silver with a target price of 16 US dollar and 50 cents, which is approximately 23 Canadian dollars and 50 cents. Max share price today is around the 11 Canadian dollar range, so they give the company an upside of approximately 100 to 110 percent, ladies and gentlemen. Nice deal. The exploration program in 2019 with almost 34,000 meters was very successful and confirmed and expanded the continuous white high-grade mineralization in the Vallecanas deep zone, as well as the white high-grade zones in the Anticipada Wien and the Venadas Wien to the south with strong silver and gold grades. In addition, they discovered the northeast trending New Valentina and Venadas two Wiens through drilling and development. George Paspalas, CEO of MAC, said, Construction and exploration drilling continues at the Juana Cipio project. We are fortunate that all the major process equipment has been delivered to site. Corporately, we are making appropriate changes to the way we are conducting business to ensure continuity whilst considering the health and well-being of our people and business partners. That's what George said. Meg is in very good shape and will be soon a primary silver producer with fantastic byproducts like gold, lead, zinc and some copper. The stock is cheap and you should really check out the company. Thanks for watching us, stay healthy and bye-bye from Switzerland.